Hi Buckeyes, I'm meteorologist John Banghoff here with your Buckeye TV weather update on this Thursday, April 3rd, 2014. Well, for many weather buffs out there, and for many of us around the state of Ohio, April 3rd and 4th has a special significance. 40 years ago today was the super outbreak that brought tornadoes as far west as Illinois and Mississippi and as far east as into parts of Virginia, most notably these deaths and those injured. 330 killed, 5,484 injured. Damaging totals of $3.5 billion, still one of the top outbreaks of all time in terms of damage. Most notably here as we take a look at our tornado super outbreak paths, we have this uh, path right here in western Ohio. That most notably is the Xenia tornado F5 scale at that point, Fujita scale, since been updated to EF5. Um, as we look at our modern day tornadoes, but that tornado was responsible for 34 deaths, was one of the top 10 deadliest tornadoes of all time here in the United States, and certainly something we will all remember for a long, long time. Fortunately for us, not as much severe weather today as we take a look outside. Currently 46 degrees, winds out of the east at about 10 miles an hour. We do have some steady showers though moving through our area. Looking at our Buckeye TV radar as we sweep through, you can see all this rain that's been moving through as we've gone through this morning and into this afternoon. Fortunately for us, looking off to the west, we do have a little bit of a break in the rain showers, but it will remain cloudy off to the south. A little more strong showers here with those yellows. And as we look farther off to the west, you can see some of these oranges and reds almost off our screen. But those are bringing some severe thunderstorm warnings to much of Missouri and Arkansas. I'll talk about that a little bit more coming up. Taking a look at our current temperatures across the state. Check out this temperature gradient. 36 up here in Detroit and 70 down in Charleston, West Virginia. A temperature gradient of almost 35 degrees as we go through the state of Ohio. That is on either side. And this clearly find warm front here as we chase, trace it on our current temperatures map. All farther to the west, you can see here another boundary. This is a cold front that's bringing much of the severe weather to areas here in Arkansas, in Missouri, in parts of western uh, Kentucky and Tennessee. The Storm Prediction Center has issued a moderate risk for severe weather for them. We are in a slight risk today. At this point, I don't expect our risk for severe weather to be too great as we head through the afternoon, but a heightened risk tomorrow, which I will talk about more here in just a couple minutes. Looking at our Buckeye TV service map, you can see, as I mentioned here, the warm front here draping across the state of Ohio. We have a cold front off to the west and low pressure. The thunderstorms and the rain that we've gotten today have been right along that warm front as it's, this cold front moves through off into our area tomorrow. That will be our greatest chance for severe weather. Timing for that is probably early morning into the early afternoon hours. Forecast for today, we get up to an eventual high of 59 degrees, so a little bit warmer. Soaking rain continues for the next hour or so, 0.5 to 0.75 inches of rain total for the system, so quite a bit of uh, rain and moistness as we head outside. But the good news here, with some warmer temperatures and more rain, we could start to see the trees change in color just a little bit, so spring is certainly here. Tonight, maybe you're heading down to Huntington Park as the Clippers host the Indianapolis Indians for opening night. First pitch at 7.05 p.m. Unfortunately, not a very beautiful day out there. It's going to be windy with some steady showers, I do hope. Most of this rain move out of the area. Hopefully the ground crews will be able to get the field all clear and ready for some baseball. Eventually, the low will drop. Not a whole lot more. Down to 55 degrees, the eventual low. Mostly cloudy. Some rain late as that cold front approaches from off to the west. And the winds will certainly pick up as we head into tomorrow and into tomorrow afternoon. The day on Friday, eventual high of 67 degrees. It will be rainy and mild, as I mentioned. The Storm Prediction Center with a slight risk for some severe weather. I expect the main threats, if any, to be mainly strong winds and maybe some slight hail. Very, very small chance for a tornado on an additional quarter to a half inch of rain with this system tomorrow. Tomorrow night, the cold front will be well out of our area. We'll get to see some clearing. Check out these temperatures drop all the way down back into the 30s. Certainly not something we love to see, but it will mean sunshine for the day on Saturday. It will be a chilly start, still well below normal. The, event, the average high for this time of year is about 61 degrees. We're only going to make it to 53 for the day on Saturday, and there will be breezy west winds that will make it feel a little bit chilly for the day, but a great day to get outside. I'm going to be heading down to Hocking Hills, certainly looking forward to that opportunity. Taking a look at our Buckeye TV 7-day forecast Sunday, another nice day, a little bit warmer, a little bit more seasonable, 60 degrees, and then for the day, on Monday, another system comes through, bringing another chance for rain, maybe a stray shower or a thunderstorm with that system. And then on Tuesday and Wednesday, the clouds linger. Wednesday does not look to be too great. We could even barely make it out of the 40 degree mark. But hopefully next week for the spring game, we'll be able to get some warmer temperatures in here and dry things out a little bit. All in all, though, a pretty wet and spring-like forecast. I'm meteorologist John Banghoff. Have a great week and go Bucks.